Hello Nords, welcome to Ahmed Coaching and I'm your teacher Dr. Anam. Today we are going to study about germ theory of disease. Antonio van Leeuwenhoek was the first person who reported the microbes. When we talk about the microbes, they are the small microscopic organisms. You cannot see these without microscope. So he used a simple microscope which was made by Antonio to observe the microbes under the microscope and he discovered bacteria and protozoa in the samples. He called these small creatures animalcules. After that, the Louis Pasteur, he developed the vaccines. The vaccines were prepared for the diseases like anthrax, foul cholera and rabies. He developed these vaccines on the basis of the fact given by the Antonio that microorganisms they can be found in simple samples or in disease samples. Then along with the development of the vaccination, he also developed pasteurization technique. In the pasteurization, the milk samples or the milk is boiled at a temperature so that all the microbes present in it are dead or destroyed. The milk we attain from the market which is packed in the packets, especially in the cartons, they are actually the pasteurized milk. The Louis Pasteur also proved that microorganisms they could cause disease. By using all these histories, the Robert Koch was the first person who gave the germ theory of disease. He isolated anthrax bacteria from the blood of the sheep. The anthrax is a disease which is caused by particular bacteria and he observed this disease in the sheep. So he took the blood and observed the anthrax bacteria under the microscope. He discovered bacteria for the tuberculosis as well as for the cholera. And then on the basis of these observations and all the history related to this topic, he formulated germ theory of disease. And this theory has four postulates. The postulates mean that four points. These points are known as Coates postulates or germ theory of disease. So if anybody is talking about germ theory of disease, that person means he's talking about the Coates postulates. So the first one is a specific organisms can always be found in association with a given disease. So he said that a organism and that organism is specific organism is going to be present or associated with the disease for example we said that anthrax was caused by a bacteria so if a person is suffering from the anthrax that particular bacteria will be found in that person this is a diseased mice and this is a healthy mice so after taking the samples and growing the samples they observed suspected pathogens in the disease mice but there were no pathogens in the healthy mice so he said that only the specific organisms they can be found in association with a given disease then the second postulate is the organism can be isolated and grown in pure culture in the laboratory for example here when they grow with the pathogen there are other organisms are also present but according to the second postulate of the courts you can isolate the suspected organism so what you are going to do you are going to culture it and then you have the pure culture of that particular organism or particular pathogen pathogen mean uh, organism or microorganism which is causing a disease so you can isolate it isolate mean that from the other organisms you can separate it and then you can have a pure culture it means that on this plate all the organisms they are pathogenic then the third postulate states that a pure culture will produce the disease when inoculated into a susceptible mice. So if you are going to take this microorganism which is a pure microorganism and then you inoculate it into a healthy mice or a susceptible mice as a susceptible mean that animal who can get the disease so if you are going to uh, inoculate this pure culture into that particular organism that organism is going to get the 
disease. Here the susceptible means that some organisms they cannot get the disease. Why? Because their immune system is very strong. So if immune system is not strong and you inoculate this particular bacteria in that person, that person is going to get the disease. So then comes the fourth postulate. It is possible to recover the organism in pure culture from experimentally infected animal. And then from this animal in which we have inoculated this pathogenic bacteria, you can isolate the pathogen. So it means that it is like a cycle that you isolated the organism from the diseased animal you cultured it, you took the pure culture and then from the pure culture you inoculated a healthy mice and that healthy mice got the disease and from that diseased mice you got the culture of that pathogen again. So these are the four postulates of the germ theory of disease. So I hope that this lesson is clear to you. I will see you in the next video.